Welcome back to the top apps of the month, November 2016. Now before I begin, I actually wanted to show you guys my skin that I'm rocking on the back of my phone. It's a slick wrap skin and with that you can actually see it looks very nice. It's from their Carbon series. You have that Google logo in colorful colors. I also have one on my Nexus 6P. It's from their Helmetica series. And yeah, I'll just leave a link down below if you want to check them out for yourself. Let's start it off with the wallpaper. The wallpaper application is called Wallpapers and it's free in the Google Play Store and it's by Google, which is great. This app already comes pre-installed on Google Pixel phones and it has more wallpapers to choose from. Instead, it has some simple static wallpapers that also come with the Google Pixel, but it doesn't have every single wallpaper found on the Pixel device, but it still works just fine. You just click on one, tap on it, and you can set that as your wallpaper automatically. I'm gonna set that on my home screen and it should work. There you go, looks great in the background. High resolution, looks clean. Definitely check it out, I'll leave a link down below. So the next application is called Chrome Canary. It's free in the Google Play Store. Now if you follow all the Chrome versions on the Google Play Store, there's standard, beta, dev, and now there's an extremely unstable Canary build. So there you go. So there's two things to know about this Chrome browser is the fact that you will encounter a couple bugs here and there, but there will be an update almost every single day and you will get to try out the newest features before everyone else. So here we're going to see the difference. Uh, there's not much to it at first, but basically this is Chrome Beta and this is Chrome Canary. If we load up a website, here we can see Android Police. It looks exactly the same, not much to it. Very similar. And uh, let's see, if we go in here, you can delete that, add a new one. I'm actually not 100% sure what new features are included in this build but you'll have to dig deeper and find out for yourself. And in the future, they should have a variety of different features to choose from. Uh, if we go into the settings, basically everything is the same. You can definitely check it out for yourself if you want to try out the newest features first from Chrome on Chrome Canary. It's free, so why not? The next app we're checking out is called Movies. This is free in the Google Play Store or Movies. I don't know how to pronounce it. So the cool thing about this application, it's a music visualizer. So this giant bar here will appear at the bottom of your navigation bar when you're listening to music, watching a YouTube video, or just any app that brings sound to your phone, it will appear. So for example, if I play a song from my Spotify, there you can see it appears. Go into my Instagram, it's still there. Turn into landscape mode, wait. There you go, it's there. It looks very nice, appears, works just great. And if I turn off my music, it will go away instantly. Maybe load up a YouTube video, here we go, an Old Spice commercial. It's still playing, has a music visualizer. Skip ahead. There you go, it takes, a, it takes some time to load, but it just still does and pause it and it goes away. Very easy to control and you can also go in here, you can edit it, you can change the bars, peak, you can change it to a variety of different shapes and there's a pro version to unlock even more features. Uh, you can do squares, you can change the size of the squares and change the color as well. Very nice. So definitely check it out, it's free in the Google Play Store and that's basically all it does. The next app we're checking out is called Libre Torrent. This is free. It's an open source BitTorrent based on LibTorrent. Now the reason I wanted to show you this torrent instead of other torrents on the Google Play Store is because this torrent has plenty of features that most other torrents don't have in the Google Play Store. And it's great because if you go on the desktop on your computer, it has very similar stats. So you can see the state, you have the file itself, trackers to see if it's working, peers, and the pieces to piece map the file together. There you go, and you also have some info at the beginning. If you go into Flute here, you have very similar options. You can see they're basically the same. The only reason I like this one more than Flute is that it doesn't have any ads. Flute has ads, but you can remove it for like a dollar or something, but this one, it has no ads and it's free and it has some really neat animations and it's materialized, so that's also great. This torrent is basically a PDF for Android phones for dummies, and I check it, and there you can see while it's downloading all the information about it. You can see other peers as well. The trackers, the file it's downloading, and if we go into the file itself for one of them, you can tap on it, and this is also a PDF for a book. If I load that up, it's going to pop up. It's for programming. Could zoom in there. 
and it clearly did grab it from that torrent I downloaded. I highly recommend this torrent if you like torrenting and it's in the Google Play Store, it's free. The next app we're checking out is called Brave Browser. This is free. This browser focuses on blocking ads and trackers to make your browser experience faster because ads do slow down the time it takes for a website to load and even your connection speeds excessively. Now, some websites do control the number of ads they have and you do keep it minimum, but there are websites out there that have like 15 or more ads on their website. So this would be a good way to block that. Uh, for example, if we go to Forbes.com, here you can already see I'm on an article and they have plenty of ads. So there's one right there. Uh, scroll down even more, there's another one. And there seems to be one every single time. I just, there's so many, there's so many. Let's say I want to disable the ads. I can just click on this lion icon, enable it. It says 12 ads and trackers blocked. It's updating the HTTPS. And now there should, they should be all gone. So there you can see there's no more ads and it doesn't leave that blank spot in the middle with the giant ad, just takes it away and makes it much cleaner. Uh, it's still loading, taking quite a while to load. As a matter of fact, there's an ad right there. It's a pop-up that's quite annoying. And let me just click that away. Oh, there you go. Okay. So that's annoying. Let's see if it actually pops up again with that giant ad. There was an ad right there. And there you go. Did you see how much, how faster, how much faster that loaded? That was so quick. Um, and the pop-up ad did not blow up in my face again with Best Buy. So it's very clean, works greatly. And you have the other options from Chrome as well in here. It reminds me of a Chrome browser, except for the fact that you have this, of course. Uh, but other than that, you can check it out free in the Google Play Store. That's that's it. Tiles is the next app. It's $1.99 in the Google Play Stores, but I will be giving away 10 promo codes to get this app for free. Just follow my Twitter at HowToMen. There it is. And that's basically it. I will be announcing and direct messaging the users, so be active. Anyway, let's just jump right in and see what this app is all about. Here we can see they have a variety of different options. And what this app does, it makes use of the new Quick Settings API on Android Nougat to bring you even more Quick Settings toggles. So that here you have a variety of toggles that you wouldn't normally see on your regular Marshmallow device or Android Nougat device. Very beautiful, those, those animations are great. And you can refresh it and it tells you the weather just like that. So let me just do another option here. Let's do reminder and you can set a reminder. You have applications. These are applications I chose to pop up whenever I needed them. They're just my social applications and I could pop them up, tap on one and it will bring it up. NFC, I mean, you would see NFC, but that's basically it. And let's open it up. You just go in here, edit, grab that tile, plug it into your quick settings panel, and it's right then and there. It just, you can just enable it from there. Check it out, it's $1.99 in the Google Play Store, or follow my Twitter to see if you will win a promo code. Now for the games. First up, I have Badland 2. This is free in the Google Play Store. I'm currently on their frozen world, so let's see how I do in front of the camera. Uh, automatically, I'm thrown in here, and you have two different tapping points, right, left, and these are clones. Oh no, oh, I totally messed up. And you have to, you just have to try to see if you can make it. Yeah, I just died, okay. Let's see how far I can get before I die all over again. Here, I can clone myself all over again. And I'm making it. Oh no. I only have one more. Hey, I made it with one. There you go. Now we're extra bouncy. <laughs> and there we we have even more clones. I don't know what these little guys are. I I would give them a name, but wow, that's a lot. They look <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh my goodness. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, will I make it? I need one to make it. I need at least one. At least one, all right. Two made it. All right, there you go. Okay, I think I was supposed to grab that, but I'm not 100% sure. You get the point of the game. It's Badland 2. It's free in the Google Play Store. It's very fun, very addicting. I love this game. Next up, we have I Am Bread. This is a great game as well. It's $4.99, so it is a bit of cash, but at the end of the day, if you're looking for a game that's 
adventurous and it's going to kill some time, this is the game to get. So there you saw it become toast, you just have to become toast and you're just a piece of bread. So just keep on swiping your finger to control your piece of bread and see how, see how far you can get. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't even move. Oh, if you touch the ground, the edibility level goes down, so make sure to not let your edibility level go down all the way to zero, because then you will you will die. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm, okay, come on. Oh my goodness, you can see how how difficult this game really is. I'm come on. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> come on. It's not that difficult. One hour later. All right, we're gonna go on the wall here. Come on! There you go, now we're making, oh! Oh no, no! I lost. Uh. The next game we're checking out is called Breakliner. This is free, so let's, let's do this. You're supposed to tap on the screen to make the spaceship break through the white lines. If you touch the red line, you die, so that's basically it. You just, it's a one tapper and that's it. Your goal is to make it, as you can see, if you break through some, it tells you the numbers. My goal is to pass 27. So, come on. Okay, let's do this. Boom. Boom. 23. Oh my gosh. Dang. Okay. Come on. I'm very concentrated. Oh man. Dang. Okay. You get the point. It's called Brake Liner. This is free. It's very frustrating, but at the same time, it's kind of peaceful because of the music. Shootout in Mushroom Land is free in the Google Play Store. It's old school. It looks old school at least. Here we go. We have a jumpsuit. And my goal here is to just get to the end. Okay. Just jump on that guy. To get up there, I have to jump on the fish to double jump. So let me see. There you go. Did it. Grab that gun. How am I gonna shoot those guys? Um, shoot the fish. Oh, I almost died. Okay. Shoot the boxes. And if you die, you start all over. So that's very frustrating. Okay, what do I do here? Dang it! Oh, I have to leave my weapon because it's too heavy. Right. There you go. Okay, did it. Oh, no. Just, just skip it. Oh man, this guy's on fire. This guy kills you too. Oh, I died. Oh, check it out in the Google Play Store. It's called Shootout in Mushroom Land. It's free. Well guys, that's it for the top apps of the month, November 2016 with the Google Pixel. If you liked it, make sure to drop a like on this video. Also check out all the links in the description to all these apps. Follow me on Twitter to get 10 promo codes for free to tiles. And I will see you guys in the next one. Kapow!